How's it going, one? So let's get started with this bad boy, shall we? Now this is a $6 mask you can get off Amazon or eBay, whichever, and you really don't need anything expensive since you're going to be sanding it and painting it. The problem with this mask was that the chevrons, mainly the one on the top, didn't really look right. So what I did is I took some duct tape, or gaffing tape, whatever you want to call it, and I just kind of placed it on the mask and recreated them uh, with a sharpie, and then what I did is I cut them out and then I put them back on when I was ready to spray paint. And as you can see here, I actually added some tape and covered the little snaps so that way I wouldn't sand them or I would get paint on them, so I wanted them to stay silver. You can get a very soft sandpaper, just kind of sand the whole outside and the inside of the mask. Then I took a little Dremel and it was the tiniest bit that I had to start cutting some of the edges, making some of the damage on it. And I did it very randomly so you can do it however you want. There is no um, specific way of doing it, it's just you place the damages wherever you want on the mask. Now I primed the inside of it. Uh, which wound up falling apart on me later because it started sanding uh, it were coming off the mask it didn't really stick very well but you'll see later on the video what I did and what I used it for so now this is just a base coat of gloss sand that's the color that in case you're wondering, I think it's by Rust, uh, Rustoleum, and I just did very light coats of it, and I actually sprayed the crap out of it with some water, so that way the paint runs down the mask, that maybe gives it a bit of a murky kind of paint job to it. And I did it a bunch of times, I think it was like three times I did it, light coat, sprayed with water, light coat, sprayed with water. Now here I realized that when you sanded the inside because the primer wasn't very good, I actually dusted it on the ground and patted all over the mask to kind of fade out the paint a little bit more, which gave it even more weathering and more battle damage and more wear and tear on it. It turned out pretty well actually. All right, so here goes another. Here goes the first coat of the olive green or the camo green. Um, so I did heavy coats around the side of it, and then light coats around the center because I didn't want to have too much green in the middle. I wanted to have it mostly around the sides. And then I heavily sprayed the crap out of it with some water. You can just get a little bottle of water, fill it up, and then just spray it all over the mask. This is the final result. You can see I used the chevrons uh, that I cut out earlier to kind of mask out where they're supposed to be to give it a weathered effect. Now all I did was just added some black acrylic paint and I just kind of placed it around the eyes, made it around the bottom of the mask so like if water was coming through it it was kind of getting stuck to it and wearing the paint down. I kind of placed it randomly where I think you know most of the murkiness will come from. You could do it however you want, you don't have to do it exactly like I did. Just kind of go nuts, go crazy, slap the black paint everywhere you want. And then later on, I added fake mulch from Hobby Lobby. You can use any type of mulch you want, as long as you can place it somewhere on the mask to kind of give it a look that it was just pulled out of the water or it's been sitting in a swamp for a while. And then the two bottom snaps, I just used some bronze 
uh, acrylic paint and just made them look like they were rusted out. Pretty simple process, it only took me about a day to do. You can create this how you want, you can paint it how you want. I just went crazy with the paint job on this and I did anything to make it look very murky, very like ugly, like it's moldy and it's just, oh, just disgusting in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next part will be coming out next week. Uh, I got the clothing to do and then also the latex hood which I'm actually going to custom paint a little bit so it kind of matches the mask along with the rest of the outfit. Hope you guys enjoyed this really disgusting looking mask. Actually, it's pretty badass. The first Jason mask I ever did. It's pretty sick. Like it if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you goons later.